So this is Happy, and she runs to the door to greet me, but I still have to be slow like this. Yeah, and she would even let me pick her up and cuddle her on my chest so she can hear my heartbeat for about 30 seconds. And this is Lucky Penny, and she's caught up to her sister, almost. She's still got C, she turns away from me. That's because I, she looked at me and she doesn't understand the phone. Mm-hmm, Happy doesn't care. And this is Shamrock, and I'm never really sure. Hi, baby, what have you got on your neck? I can never see that. Oh, you've got a little white on your neck. But I always say Shamrock is the one who's not quite so shy. He usually would have run away when I came in the room, but he did it. Okay, we're going to back off so you don't have to. And then Prince Charming. Yeah, well, his whiskers and his ears are forward. And his siblings make that same sound, so it's a greeting. It is a greeting, isn't it, baby? Yeah? Do you want to come come to me? See? Oops. I was looking at the cat, not the phone. Hi, sweetie. Do you want to come down? Usually he only comes down for food or play. But we're going to try play today. So let's pause. So, Happy Cats gave us these pretty sparklers, and they love them. It has really helped to socialize them. Because I learned in the Shy Cat class that they can't hold play and fear at the same time. And this one, I think, is turned. I mean, usually it takes a little encouragement to get Shamrock out and involved. But he's right out here. And... Here comes Prince Charming. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, we like to play with this stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody's playing. Oh, one of the girls hung back and let brother play. Isn't that sweet? And we have Prince Charming. Oh, <laughs> happy. <laughs> Here comes Prince Charming. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Come on, baby. Come on. See, I'm using. <laughs> Two at a time here with the camera. Okay, that's Lucky Penny. Let your brother in. That's, oh, this is wonderful. He came down so quickly, and I really didn't have to entice him much to come up close to me and play, because see, there's my foot. That's why I like the short ones with the shy cats. because they get into that play mode just by watching. Yes. Come on. And see, I'm not going to come to you. You've got to come to me now, dear. Hey, you guys, what are you doing with these? Let go. I thought you were shy. Hey, baby, come on. Getting pretty good at two at one time here. Hey! Okay. They're all taking baby food from my fingers. And this one even lets me pet him. Oh, he came up. I need to get a th third one. I do have a third one. I had one, and Happy Cat sent me two. See, that's why I'm thinking I could really get him his motor running, like uh, Jackson says, get him to a boil. But I can't do that with the more socialized cats 
coming up and wanting to play and get in the way, and they're not doing anything wrong. They're being their best cat self. Right there. Right there. Yes. Oh, and that's the boy. This is the sister. This is Happy. And that's Shamrock. And there is Lucky Penny. No, we don't get a chance to chew on it. Here. Oh, this is so good. That's Prince Charming, the most shy one. We're getting there, guys. He weighs, I weighed him the other day with a carrier, and he weighed 6.6 .6 pounds. He's a big boy, and his brother's almost as big. And then the sisters... I didn't I didn't weigh the other three because they don't like a carrier. And although I keep them around. But I, um when upon intake, the two girls weighed about a pound less than their brothers. And she happy is visibly smaller. And I can tell her because of her coat, but she if, if she had a flat coat, a short coat, she would look as small as her sister Happy. Look at you. Look at you. This is great. Yes. Oh, I dropped one. <laughs> there we go. Now let him get to a boil. Ugh. I'm considering taking the two girls, because these two here, because they are so much more socialized, and start them out with a small um, safe room, put them in my bathroom upstairs. Then they get to see me more often, and they get used to a new place. And then they can have the bathroom in my bedroom, and but they only get that when they will come when they're called. I mean, even just for food, so that they're not hiding behind furniture. We don't give them more the more area as their territory than they can handle at the time. And right now, they're just really happy here. And don't eat that. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, let's get open a can of wet food. How would y'all like that? Yeah, it's time. 